Hi, I'm going to show you a standard opening in Zero AD completely aimed at beginners and I'll do it very slowly and I will tell all the keys I use um, and the goal is that first I show you slowly and in a lower speed so I'll set the game to a lower speed so you can see everything that happens um, the regular players do it better than I do uh, but it will give you a good first start to do a proper opening I just use a civilization I'm familiar with and I'm going to show you um, how to do a proper opening including keyboard shortcuts um, so my civic center is here what I'm going to do first is click on the civic center and press ctrl 1 now I have the civic center on hot key 1 if I press 1 it will take me to the civic center then I'm going to produce women let's say two at the same time and I press alt Q to keep continue making women and I will make those women go to wood while I do that uh, now it's time to get some women on food so I select all my soldiers I click a farm stat and I put this near food then I hold shift and right mouse click on here this means that these units will build the farmstead and then will go on food I don't want all my units to uh, build the farmstead and go on food so I select all the units and I select the units that can build something else which are the Judith Slane and the Pikeman I will want them to build this so I click right click which means go build that farmstead then I hold shift click on storehouse and put this somewhere near wood like here and now do right mouse click to be done with it so what's now going to happen is that these people will all build the farmstead and when the soldiers here are done they go to the work they go build the storehouse and then on wood these women when they are done they go harvest this food so I'm already a bit out of sync so already women here are, are harvesting this wood but the storehouse is not ready yet so for now I'm gonna select the women hold click uh, hold shift right mouse button on building the storehouse and right mouse button on the wood so the women will build a storehouse and then go on the wood so the woman so the woman uh, this the farmstead is being built I'm gonna hold shift and click on the farmstead already that does and sh hold shift click on this on the workshop and press ctrl 2 now I have these two buildings under hotkey 2 so if I press 2 it will take me to those buildings the first upgrade you usually want to get is the wicker basket so I immediately start this ideally you start this directly when the farmstead is done so now we can take a bit of a look here at our resources so we see that we're building two women at the same time uh, which goes nicely um, maybe we will run out you have to take a bit of a look if there are enough women here these two women they go to the service and they shouldn't go they go first here right mouse click when they're done building they should go back on wood again so these two women I send them back to build help build the storehouse and when they're done they will drop their wood and they continue getting wood so this queue of women has now stopped working so I can either build now one woman or I wait for now for to build two women at the same I'm gonna do that so I hold shift and with the mouse wheel you can scroll I want to make two women and I want them to queue so you can either click here or press alt Q and I want those women to do wood chopping wood cutting so the wicker basket upgrade is going you'll see that the next problem we'll have is to get the population capped so I'm gonna take some women here so with left mouse button I just select them and I make them build a house so I click on a house left click for example here hold shift 
and right mouse button. This means that they will build the house and when they're done they go back on wood. So you see all my units are always doing something except this one. With Alt period you can select all the units that do nothing. So I don't know where it, the, this cavalry is, it's there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold, I'm going to make it do a circle. So I'm going to hold shift, right mouse click here, there, 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 there. Um, so I press right mouse button while holding shift all the time. That means that this cavalry will now go on a scouting trip. So let's take a look at, so I pressed one to go to the civic center. So this should be building women. Uh, that didn't work because of the food was not enough yet. So I press shift so I can have two left mouse buttons so it starts building and I start the queue again. I did notice that the queue broke two times now. That's because apparently these there are not enough women gathering food. So I'm going to send two women to there. Well, and when these two are added, I will make them go on wood again. So notice already, when these two women are done, I will be housed. So I hope these two finish up quickly. But hey, I can already send one woman, left mouse on a woman, and make her build a house. So I click on the house, hold shift, left click, right mouse button to get rid of the, the mouse, to, uh, to get rid of building another house, and then put her back on wood again. All right. It's a good idea to make women to build houses ahead of time. So now I'm going to take another woman. I hold shift, left mouse button to build the house, left mouse button to build it here, right mouse button to get out of this, and then right mouse button on a tree to make a go back to building, um, to, to make a go back to woodcutting again. I'm going to press one to see what's going on here. So this queue broke again. I'm going to now put it on wood with right mouse button. I want to build two women. And I want to put this in a queue. I feel that now we have enough women gathering berries. Also the upgrade is done, so that will work out nicely. So this is going great. We have our cavalry scouting. Yeah, that one is here. It's doing its good job. Now the opening is simple. We are building enough houses. And the thing we're going to wait for is the wood cutting upgrade. So I can already do it. The iron axe head, it's called. Click it. That's the one you want to, that should be your second upgrade. Next step is building a barracks and start building soldiers. So because of the auto build option, this will go very easily. I, I need to do nothing here. This is already done, the wicker basket. This is being researched already. What I do like to do is, is I, I press 2, so I get these two buildings. I like to, with shift left mouse button, and now control 2, to have these three structures on hotkey 2. So now I also see the house upgrades. So the loom is a useful upgrade that I like to do, but especially home garden, that you get a popul that, you, that your houses can have more people. That's a very nice upgrade. So these two women will make me go pop cap. So you see that this building doesn't go as fast as I hoped. So I'm going to put another women, right mouse button, shift, right mouse button. So make that, that woman help. I'm going to take for another woman, also help here, right mouse button, shift, right mouse button there. So to now we have three women tr trying to build that house. I also took this woman to help build this one, so right mouse button, oh, shift, right mouse button, right mouse button, release shift. Because it won't be long until we're housed. Housed is when you have your population size uh, is, is maximum, so I can house 25 people. I now have 25 people, so this house should finish before these two women are finished, so that's great. I'm also going to put this woman to already build the next house. And I'm going to put these women to also help build that house. So it's a good idea to, to, to never be housed. It's called a noob mistake, according to Valley. 
uh, valley is a Valorant. All right, so how do I decide what to, with whom to build what? So here I I look at the resource that I have most of, and those gatherers I make build the extra houses. So if I would have more food than wood, then I would these, I would select these, and make a house themselves. But now we're aiming to build a barracks. So a barracks is this structure. For that I only need wood. And I'm going to use like about four people, yeah, four soldiers to build it. I'm going to build it at the front, but maybe it's better. I'll build it here. So left mouse button, shift, right mouse button there. So now a barracks is built. I like to put it under hotkey 3, so I do left mouse click, control 3, and now at the left you see I have my barracks under group 3. So with my barracks, I usually put them on V2, so I press rouse my right mouse button to put them to there. So this, this is also wood. On 2, I have the X hats now. This is going fine. And this is like a standard opening of zero ED. The timings were not very correct because I played it at a lower speed and I took the time to explain what I was doing. There are some a couple of variations are for example to instead of building women all the time, uh, instead put the civic center with right mouse button on a sheep if there is hunt around and build archers or cavalry. Uh, th this hunt will give you a lot of food income. They're a bit more expensive uh, and the hunt will go will run out, uh, but you can use use them as well for raids. So that's a variation. You can say, well, I want to focus mostly on women and, and farming. Or you can say, no, I want to do more hunting. Like there are also some peacocks here. You can even hold shift right mouse button. And now the civic center will first kill all the sheep and then all the peacocks. And what I then like to do in the game, I want to press one, two, three to see if I if there's something that needs some attention. So that's a one. This is going great. Two. So I can get a stone upgrade. I don't need this yet. I don't need much stone yet. Um, although I could maybe make slingers. So my civilization can make slingers and slingers need stones. So I could say, hey, I'm going to already click on gathering stones. I could also make the females more protected. Uh, another option is to uh, make a stable or another barracks. So building another barracks is smart because then you have more structures that can produce units. So I, let's say I do five women, put them here, left mouse button, hold shift, right mouse button. And now these women will build a second barracks. Well, I like all my barracks under group three, can, so I can press three, shift, left mouse button. Now I have everything that I want under three. And with control three, I have both of them selected. So now both of them are under hotkey three. Um, I put both of them with right mouse button on wood. Maybe I'm going to put one on uh, stone after a while. Um, another variation is, of course, to build a stable. You could also build that instead of a, of a barrack. Um, you can pick them. The, the like stables are of course good for cavalry. They're strong units. They have a bit more health than a regular soldier. Let's see, let's see if we can find a uh, see if we can find a regular soldier somewhere here. So a pikeman has how many health does that have? Ah, there is. A, so a Judean slinger has 50 health. A pikeman has a hundred health. So these cavalry are not very strong. There are civilizations that have cavalries with 150 health. All right, but that's uh, just a civilization I have now. All right, next steps are also getting these women to build farmlands, and um, because this food will run out, so building farmlands is a is a good idea. Um, because that will all that give you a permanent income. So going 
and then the next step if you have your farm loaded up and if you have your barracks up and your stable it's time to go to, s to phase two here you can go to phase two this is what you need to go to phase two and there uh, you move on but that is not the intent of this video all right so here i've showed you slowly a standard opening in zero od i wish you a very good day and i hope to see you in the lobby one day bye